America Strong, two best friends we have followed for some time here who just raised a million dollars, the bigger gift yet to come. 3 a.m. in California, and you might remember nine-year-old Jonah Ponazarian's mother up in the middle of the night to feed him. He needs these precisely measured bottles of water and cornstarch every few hours through a tube in his stomach. This is going to be good for three hours when he's in school. Jonah is one of just 500 children in the world who suffers from glycogen storage disease, type 1B, a rare liver disorder that means he's always fighting dangerously low blood sugar. We hope we don't miss an alarm clock because he could die. But help soon came from an unexpected place. That's Jonah on the right and on the left, his best friend, Dylan Siegel. Dylan, who once said his friendship with Jonah was as awesome as a chocolate bar, wrote a book with the same name. $20 a copy, every cent, going to the Florida lab where they are close to a cure for his best friend. I like to help my friends. That is the biggest chocolate bar. Customers everywhere lining up to buy the book. All 50 states and 60 countries as far away as Brazil, where the book is translated in Portuguese. A gente adorou seu livro. And right here in the U.S., these children from Texas buying the book. And today, our camera's right there in Just Listen. Dylan raised a million dollars. Selling enough books to raise a million dollars. Thank you, everybody. And he called up that doctor, David Weinstein, leading the research team. Guess what? What? We're at a million dollars. The doctor saying when they get that breakthrough, they want Dylan and Jonah right there. But until then, Dylan will be right next to his best friend, just like he was when we first met them. They're two years older and a million dollars closer to a cure. I hope it will mean that he will be all better for the rest of his life and not have to deal with this anymore. Dylan teaching us friendship is as good as a chocolate bar. And you can buy one of these books. Go to abcnews.com. And I'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.